friends today i'm going to share a restaurant style simple and easy yet delicious north indian gravy called vegetable butter masala which is an inspired vegetarian version of paneer butter masala let's get into the video take a tablespoon of oil on a hot pan and also add 2 tablespoons of butter as the butter is melting away add 2 bay leaves an inch long cinnamon stick 3 cloves 2 cardamoms 3 dry red chilies and 5 dry kashmiri chilies saute this on a high flame for a minute then add one onion that's roughly chopped and again saute on a high flame for 2 minutes or until the onion turns pink and translucent now add 1 teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste and saute on a high flame for 2 minutes or until the raw flavor fades now add 3 medium sized tomatoes that's roughly chopped a teaspoon of salt you can adjust the salt according to your preference now add 15 cashew nuts you know these cashew nuts will make the dish creamier and also will add slight sweetness to the dish and a teaspoon of sugar this will help to balance the tartness from the tomato now add a cup of water and gently mix this mixture cover with a lid and cook on a high flame for 3 to 4 minutes or until the tomatoes turn mushy and are cooked let's check see a masala base is nice and done remove from the heat and also remove the bay leaves and cool down the mixture to room temperature now transfer the masala mixture to a mixer jar and blend to a fine paste our masala for the gravy is ready transfer the ground masala through a sieve so that we get a fine and creamy puree without any lumps for the written recipe please visit my blog at www.deliciouslyjabas.com i'll leave the link below in the description box for you keep the masala aside and in the same pan heat a tablespoon of oil add one potato that's evenly cubed one carrot that's roughly chopped half a cup of beans that's roughly chopped and two baby corns that's again roughly chopped saute the veggies for a minute on a high flame and cover them with a lid and cook on a medium flame for 5 minutes also keep stirring the mixture every now and then as we do not want the veggies to burn please try this recipe and share your experiences in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to read your experiences add 2 tablespoons of butter when the vegetables are half done and saute it in the butter until they are slightly golden you can add the fresh green peas at this stage now cover and cook on a medium flame for another 3 to 4 minutes the aroma from the butter is so therapeutic see how golden our veggies have turned out wow it's perfectly cooked now add half a cup of green peas i am using them at this stage because they are frozen ones also add a teaspoon of kashmiri chili powder 
half a teaspoon of coriander powder half a teaspoon of toasted cumin powder quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and half a teaspoon of garam masala powder mix this until all the spice powders are well combined at this stage add the ground masala puree and mix it until it's well incorporated into the veggies then take half a cup of water in the bowl and rinse off the leftover masala from the bowl and add it to the gravy if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button now add 1 teaspoon of kasuri methi or dry fenugreek leaves crushed between your palms to elevate its flavor you know this dish is also called as vegetable makhani makhan means butter and makhani means buttery in hindi now stir until the leaves are well combined or mixed into the gravy now cover and cook on a low flame until the butter seeps to the top of the gravy let's check look at the color of the dish now that the oil has also seeped to the top our gravy is done add the paneer cubes at this stage and mix gently you can also skip the paneer if you do not like them this dish originated in the 1950s and were invented and popularized by the punjabis now add a tablespoon of fresh cream to make the dish creamier for the non vegetarians you can use the chicken tikka pieces in the same gravy base and cook them until you get a scrumptious non veg curry mix this fresh cream into this gravy base until they are well combined you can follow me on facebook and insta and i'll leave the link below in the description box for you add few butter cubes to finish off the dish if you're new to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video see our vegetable butter masala looks so delicious transfer the gravy to a serving bowl and serve it hot with any indian bread varieties like chapati naan pulka roti or even jeera rice drizzle some fresh cream on top of the gravy right before serving hope you enjoyed watching the recipe i'll meet you with another delicious recipe next week until then it's jaba signing off bye bye